Many of us associate sweet potatoes with the fall, with Thanksgiving, with Christmas, with candied sweet potatoes in Turkey, but if you could possibly incorporate sweet potatoes into your diet on a more regular basis than twice a year, you'd be way ahead of the game. They're highly nutritious. One serving has over twice the vitamin A or beta carotene in it that you need for one day. So just right there, looking only at that one nutrient, it's a powerhouse. But most of us do associate them with things that are high in fat or high in sugar. So what I'm looking at today is a way to incorporate them into a diet that doesn't have a lot of either one of those things. And what I've got is oven fried sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes basically, while not a potato, can be used in any recipe that a potato would be used in. So it can be go into a stew, it can be french fried, it, it can be used as a, a mashed sweet potato, it can be anything that a regular potato would be. But this is something that's a little bit different. It's savory instead of sweet. Now, what I'm starting with are a couple of sweet potatoes that are about half pound a piece. So uh, this is about all the bigger you need. Lots of times you'll find a much, much larger however, and all you need to do there is instead of using two uh, smaller ones, use one big one and work your way down. What I've done is peel the sweet potato and uh, let me grab my knife over here. Uh, we're going to then cut it in half this way and then I'm going to cut it in half this way and cut it into wedges. Now you could do the same thing by cutting it in thin slices um, but I just want to make it look a little bit more like a real french fry. We're going to try and fool the, the kids or encourage them to eat something that they more, nor, might normally not. Uh, so we're going to do this with it, and uh, for every sweet potato you should get about, oh, 12 wedges uh, this size. Now one of the things you'll notice is that potatoes, these kinds of potatoes, will start to darken. Uh, so you want to do them uh, close to the time you're ready to, to use them. Now, I've already got some potatoes ready to go here. Let's add the ones that I've just gone ahead and wedged. And for this I'm going to add about a teaspoon of olive oil. And we're making them savory. Now, if you chose, you could change the seasoning on these to more traditional sweet potato seasonings and put in ginger and uh, cinnamon and cloves. I've got a, about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And you could also mince up some fresh garlic instead. I've got about a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika and then an eighth of a teaspoon or more, depending on your taste preferences, of cayenne pepper. Simply going to toss these together well so that nobody gets all of any one flavor. And then put them on a nice cookie sheet and put them in a 425 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes. Now the thing that you want to remember as you do this is that you don't want any of them laying on top of each other. You want to make sure that they're all separated. And then about halfway through the cooking time, about 12, 13 minutes into the cooking time, uh, go ahead and turn them over so that, uh, particularly if you have a dark co uh, cooking sheet or cookie sheet, that the, the other side doesn't get uh, too dark. These are then going to go in the oven, as I said, for a total of about 25 minutes, and you end up with something that looks like this. Doesn't look quite like a french fry, but it'll add a real nice flavor to that traditional hamburger meal. As I said, sweet potatoes can also be substituted any time you would uh, use a potato, but they can also go in a lot of recipes when you use pumpkin. And here you see an example of a sweet potato that was cooked up uh, and just any, any chosen method, whether you baked it or boiled it or steamed it, uh, then it was uh, mashed and replaced the pumpkin in a traditional pumpkin recipe. The advantage here is that you can do some of that ahead of time uh, and freeze it. If you're going to freeze the mashed cooked pumpkin, then adding uh, oh, a little bit of orange juice or something acidic will help retain its color. But it's a fairly even substitution. Doesn't give you a lot of nutrition advantage, but it is really flavorful and something a little bit different that you can, uh, will have done yourself instead of just opening a can. Whether they're oven fries or sweet potato pie, it's a really good choice for this fall season. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.